Hi, my name is David Markarian. I'm the inventor of the MyOvision 3G system. I'm going to show you how to use it today for doing the cervical Dynaram testing. This is just showing that you can see connection to the device by using the uh, green lights. You want to make sure that to really not turn on the device until the software prompts you to, though. Here I'm connecting all the lead wires to the Dynaram device, the dynamic EMG device. The left side is white, the right side is red with the ground at the bottom. The channel 1 and 2, the top two sets of lead wires go to the cervical paraspinals. The bottom two go to the SCMs. So you're putting the top two electrodes to the cervical paraspinals, the bottom two to the SCMs with the ground to the green ground wire. Now you use the button press to begin each test and also to move to the next screen. So always make sure only one button is required, but press and release the button. You can hold it for two seconds um, to move to the next screen when you're done performing a specific motion. So make sure to press and hold that. The belt, which can be used, you can use two together. You can actually use two belts together. So you can actually, uh, if you need to put it on someone larger, um, it goes behind on the dynamic EMG device, the DynaVision, and you turn the device on with the travel switch. And normally you just leave this on and make sure you leave the device in a position where the button's not being pressed. That's just used, turn it off only if you need to reset the device or if you're traveling with it. The white button turns it on. You go to the software, click scan, put the name in, then you're going to select the test cervical Test. At this point, the cervical um, dynamic test is one complete test which does all ranges of motion. You go from screen to screen to screen. So we wipe the skin with alcohol first, as always. Make sure it's dry by using a paper towel, perhaps, and make sure the skin's nice and dry before you attach electrodes. Here we're doing the full spine because we're going to do lumbar also. Um, and what we do now is we attach the electrodes to the skin. You can put them on the device first or you can place them on the skin first, whichever you're more comfortable doing. Here you can see we're at about C4. Always go below T1. Go down to like T3 approximately because you want to be able to get the muscle activity from the upper thoracic area which responds. You can even put them lower than it shows here if you want to. Take them down to T3, T4, T5. And this is the left and right sides for the cervical paraspinal. This again corresponds to the upper uh, channel 1 and channel 2. The left is white, red is right on the dynamic probe. And you can see that you also put the ground approximately in the bony prominence there. That's the black lead wire from the dynamic probe. And the next thing we do is we put on the SCMs. Uh, and with the SCMs, we attach electrodes, uh, as you can see there. And again, that becomes channel 3 and 4, left is white, red is right. And here you can see the dynamic probe. We place the device on the body. You can see how we have the electrodes. You can actually have the electrodes uh, so they're rotated a little bit so that the lead wires are not tugging on the patient. You can see there how they're placed so they're not tugging on the patient. Um, those are the SCMs approximately. Uh, have the doctor choose where he wants to place them. We begin the test, and the bottom is the range of motion. The top half of the graph is the cervical paraspinals. Bottom half of the top half of the graph are the SEMs. So we begin by uh, holding down the button. So you hold down the button, press and release, and then you'll start the test. And that's how you begin each of the tests, is by pressing and releasing only one button, not both. We're placing the probes so that they're on top of the head and at approximately uh, T1, and we perform three flexions in a row. We mark it when they're in full flexion, return to neutral, wait for the re muscles to relax, mark it, bend forward in flexion, wait for the muscles to hit a low, mark it, back up to neutral. Now we're kind of watching the screen, waiting for the readings to relax, mark it, back into flexion, mark it again. We turn back to neutral, wait for the readings to drop. So we're hitting it at all the lowest points and again marking it. Now if you get done earlier than the 30 seconds, you can hold the button down for two seconds and it'll move you on to the next screen where we're going to measure uh, extension. So you can either leave the probe uh, behind the patient like it is and always leave the probes right where they are and then press the button and hold it so you don't uh, remove the probes from the skin. So here we have wrote uh, extension and you can place the 
the device on the shoulder if you want to. We go to extension, wait for the muscle to relax, press one button, mark it, make sure it's marked on the screen, go back to extension, mark it, come back to the center, again mark it again by pressing and releasing the button, go back to extension, we mark it again by pressing and releasing the button, come back up to neutral, wait for the reading to drop and relax and press and release the button. Again, if you're done sooner and you want to get done, don't pull the, the uh, flex visions off the body, but just simply hold the button down for two seconds and it'll move you to the next screen. All right, so again, you press and hold the button for two seconds and then release it and it'll move you to the next screen. So you never have to touch the computer's keyboard while doing this test. So now we begin the next test, which is lateral flexion. You can see you can place the probes so that the flex visions are this way, or you can flip them upside down. Here we go, lateral flexion. Go to the left, mark it at the peak, back to neutral, mark it at the valley. Go to the left, mark it at the peak, back to the center, mark it at the valley. And we're looking at the muscle tensions. We're looking at the valley at the muscle tension, not the range of motion. So we're looking at the top half of the screen looking at the levels of muscle activity. Again, you hold the button down and take you to the right now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press the button again to begin a test to move to the right. So you press and release the button, go to the right, you mark it at peak, press the button again at neutral, press it again and release back to neutral, press move to the right, press and release the button, back to neutral, press and release the button, and you're done. If you want to move on to the next level, you press and hold the button and it'll take you to the next screen. Now we're going to do rotation. Because we cannot do rotation with the actual device itself, in terms of rotation, measuring uh, rotation, we do it in a standing posture or seated. We use the button press on the flex vision to take you through rotations. We're going to do three in a row. Rotate to the left, mark the screen at peak, Back to the neutral, wait for readings to drop, mark it neutral, go to the left, mark at the peak, back to neutral, mark at the valley, go to the left, mark at peak, back to the center, mark at neutral. And then when you're done, hold the button down for approximately two seconds, it'll take you to the next screen where you perform right rotation. So approximately two seconds. And then we perform right rotation. And again, you're marking in the peaks and valleys. So we begin our right rotation, mark with the button to the right, peak, back to the center, valley, to the right, peak, back to the center, valley, mark it, to the right, peak, press and release, back to the center, valley, press and release. Now if you have to redo, click the clear button on the screen. Now you hold the button down again for two seconds, it'll take you to rotation, where we're gonna do range of motion rotation. Now we can take the actual device, the actual Dyn DynaVision off the body so that it's not in the way. We place the left hand on top of the, the forehead and we measure, press and release the button to begin. Press and release to mark the end range of motion. Press and release back in neutral. And we're able to measure and graph over time. So now you hold the button down again and you swap hands so that your right hand now goes on top of the head and we're going to now measure right, rotate, right rotation. So you can see we place the right hand on top of the head now instead of the left. The other one probe goes on the table and we press and release the button, go to the right mark it by pressing the button, back to neutral, mark it by pressing and releasing the button, back to neutral, you can see we back to neutral, mark it, go to the right, again we press and release the button, back to neutral, and press and release the button, and then we're done. You can hit clear to redo a screen, and the other thing to remember is that in flexion and extensions, you're marking at the lowest level muscle tension wise, so you're measuring at the valleys in flexions and extensions. And then lateral flexions and rotations, you're, mar you're marking at peaks and valleys in terms of muscle activity. 
And again, you can always hit clear. Now hit review, and you'll note that it'll actually turn off the device itself. All the devices will be turned off by clicking review, and you can see the results on the screen. You can click down at the bottom part of the screen, and the tabs at the bottom half of the screen will actually allow you to go from screen to screen to screen to review. If you have any questions, www.myovision.com. We have the Team Elite training course, which, which walks you through 12 hours of hands-on training. The 12-hour Team Elite training course was designed to make you an expert at Dynamic EMG. You can find out more information about Team Elite by going to www.myovision.com and look under training. Thank you very much.